everyone welcome back to my another Swift tutorial today I'll show you how to create a UI pop or controller so before we start let me show you how what we're gonna do so we're gonna have a button which will have a if you click on it it's gonna uh, like pop up a view which you can put anything whatever you want a button or information that you want your user to see so this is what you're gonna create so let's get started and uh, create a new project click on create a new project and then it's gonna be single view application next I'm gonna name a pop view controller and it's gonna be for iPad you can also create for iPhone or universal we'll talk about that later so let's uh, for now just create click on iPad and then hit next and just create that wherever you want and now let's go back to our main storyboard let's disable the auto size thing so we're since we're creating it for iPad we're just gonna click on iPad and disable the size class now uh, open this in editor assistant editor and remove that screen so let's add a button first so we'll need the button go ahead and drag that into a view well let me zoom in in the main storyboard because otherwise you won't let me do it so here and so pop okay so we're done with that now we don't need that menu anymore so now we have to connect this button to the view view controller and name whatever your name so pop view and it's gonna be an action and it needs to be a UI button that's connected now in order to show another view inside this view we have to create a new view file so go go up to the file hit new and then click on file and you're gonna be creating this view under user interface so click on view name whatever you want and then let's click on this view go here in the identification thing and now here we have to tell it before we do that we have to create another view controller because otherwise it will know where to uh, show the screen so I'm just gonna create a swift file pop view controller and get rid of that if you don't need that you just need to do UI kit and then class name pop view controller and then it's gonna be a subclass of UI view controller okay that was a mistake see UI view controller and then that's it for this class you can like set the size of the screen here like in this control but we're just gonna do it like a automatic like here in the view control so since we have created a view control now we need to connect that file to this one so that way it has a controller where it would control this view so it's gonna be pop view controller oh it's not connecting for some reason okay never mind you have to click on this object thing you can't click on this view and try to connect it so click on this object and say pop there it goes okay so now it's connected it shows a file owner so if you click on the assistant enter and keep this on automatic it will show you that class so that that's the sign that it's connected after it's connected the file I mean we have made it we have told it that your file owner is this we all we all we now want to connect this view to make it as this view so let's click on view uh, click on this uh, arrow and we want to connect this view so you see this plus button press control or you can just uh, click on it and then drag it to this file owner and it's gonna ask you what do you want to connect to this view it thinks it it find it found out that it was this one is also view and so it, it gives us the hint that if you want to connect that to view so we click on view so now this view is connected to this one so now let's go uh, let's go to view control and now let's create a uh, instance of this class so pop view is equal to pop view controller 
and uh, there are two three choices you can make uh, initialize root control we're going to initialize as this one because we want to connect this uh, exib nib uh, file to this view control and make it that as this view of uh, the view of this file so let me use this pop view which is this file it's this is a nib file so that's what it's going to call whenever we say pop view and the bundle is going to be nil and so let's create a controller pop controller is equal to UI pop view controller I mean pop pop or controller and you can initialize it either without the view controller or with view control since we already have view control we're just gonna pass a view controller she's gonna be pop view and let me explain you these two lines so what it does is it's gonna create a view control that and it's gonna it's gonna set its view as this pop view and and then so we have created that pop view with that view of this pop view so it's gonna after that it's gonna um, use the class that is being provided by the apple your pop controller which takes the view controller so we all we have this view control so we pass that view control so now we have done that uh, pop control this view the size let's say pop controller pop over content size equal to or if you want to know where it takes you can press option and hover over and click on it it will tell you what it does it's t it takes CG size so we're gonna say equal CG size and then we're gonna give it a width and height we're just gonna say like 250 and the height is gonna be like 400 so that's a decent size and now we only have to do one more thing and our pop view control will be ready to go present pop or pop or rect we just want to give it a rect and we're going to say what this this means it's going to tell ask you where do you want your pop view control to be shown so what we're going to do we're going to just say sender which is this ui button and frame so it, what it's going to do it's going to present at the button in view it's going to be self dot view or hold on Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then direction we're gonna say down, up. I mean down. And the boolean uh, for animated we're just gonna say true. And so that's it. Let's save it and let's run it on iPad too because it's quicker. The retina display takes longer. So there it loads up. Let's check and see if it works. Click on so pop. There it goes. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And please comment if you have any concerns or suggestions that you guys want to make. And please subscribe if you like it. And hit like if you like the video. Thank you very much.